My name is Daisy, and the name of my science fair project is Skittle Senses. My question is, can you taste Skittles using just taste, or do you need smell? How much of flavor is actually scent? My hypothesis was we would be able to tell the Skittles apart by just using taste. I took nine people and randomly gave them each Skittle flavor. Strawberry, orange, lemon, green apple, and grape. I did three tries. Just blindfolded, blindfolded, nose closed, and blindfolded, nose closed, and mouth closed. Before they did the trials, I let everyone try the Skittle flavors to remind themselves what they tasted like. Hmm, Skittles. Thanks. For my first trial, I blindfolded everyone with their nose and mouth open to see how good they were at identifying flavor. Lemon. For the second trial, I did just the same except they had their nose closed too so that they couldn't smell. Here are my results and here are my nine people. These are the three trials. When they were blindfolded, they got 28 correct. When they had their nose closed and they were blindfolded, they only got 14 correct. And when they had their nose closed, their mouth closed and they were blindfolded, did they got only nine correct. This worked out to an average of when they were blindfolded, 3.1 out of five, and when their nose was closed and they were blindfolded, 1.6 out of five, and when their nose was closed, their mouth was closed, and they were blindfolded, the average was one. My hypothesis was incorrect because I thought there wouldn't be a difference, but there was. Here's what I concluded from this experiment. When your nose is closed, it's harder to detect flavor than when it's not. This means that most of the flavor in Skittles is actually smell. When your nose and your mouth are closed, that's hardest. This means that you can smell a little bit through your mouth. Here's what I researched and learned about the differences between taste and smell. There are only five different kinds of taste buds that can detect five different flavors. Sweet, salty, bitter, sour, and umami, which is basically savory. But there are 400 different kinds of taste receptors that may detect up to one trillion odors. But you probably will not smell one trillion odors in your lifetime. Most of your taste buds are on your tongue, but they are also on your cheeks, epiglottis, soft palate, and upper soft. All of your Smell receptors are located in a small patch inside your nose called the olfactory area. You can see that the nose and the mouth are connected. So whenever you breathe in, it might mix together and you might be able to smell a little. Some questions and problems that I had with this experiment is whenever everyone had to close their mouth, I'm worried that some people might have opened their mouth because they couldn't hold their breath. Also, when people had to close their mouth, they could have just thought of the flavor as they were opening their mouth to tell us what the flavor was. And a question I had is, are all foods like this? Because I only tested Skittles. I wanted bigger numbers because we only tested our family and the family and a family that we visited during spring break. But whenever we got home from spring break, we couldn't invite anyone else over to do the Skittles because of coronavirus. Thank you for listening to my science experiment. I hope you learned something and stay safe.